Hello students, today's topic will be about soldering, brazing and welding and today this will be the part one of it. Soldering is an essential tool in building anything from child's toy to an aircraft. While welding makes very strong joints between metals, it is usually used in building something that needs to stand up to great strains and stresses such as battle tanks. Soldering as a technique, as a joining technique is an essential aspect of everyday work in dental lab. In dental technology, soldering has been used for over 100 years. The method of soldering, however, has been known for much longer than that. Soldering is the most common method used to join materials and the principles on which this technique is based will not change in future. Contents of part 1 include definition of soldering, definition of brazing, definition of welding, components of soldering, flux and anti-flux. These three things that is soldering, brazing and welding, these are common methods involved The most common method involved here is bonding by controlled heating pressure procedure. Soldering. Soldering is defined as the joining of metals by the fusion of filler metal between them. At a temperature below the solidus temperature of the metals being joined and below 450 degrees centigrade. Brazing. Brazing is defined as the joining of metals by the fusion of filler metal between them at a temperature below the solidus temperature of the metals being joined and above 450 degrees centigrade. Here between soldering and welding, brazing, it's only the method is all the same only the temperature varies. If when it is below 50, we call it as soldering. When it is above 50 degrees centigrade, we call it as brazing. Welding. Two pieces of similar metal are joined together without the addition of another metal. So we are not adding any filler metal here. It is the metal that is the metal pieces are heated to high enough temperature so they join together by melting and flowing. Soldering is often used in the construction of dental appliances. Components of soldering include parent metal, flux, anti-flux, solder bar filler, metal. The soldering process involves the substrate metal to be joined. A filler metal usually called solder, a flux and a heat source. All are equally important and the role of each must be taken into consideration to solder metal components successfully. Parent metal. The parent metal is the metal or alloy to be joined. It is also known as substrate metal or base metal. The composition of this parent metal determines melting range, the oxide that forms on the surface during heating, wettability of the substrate by molten solder. Flux. In Latin, flux means to flow. The purpose of the flux is 
to remove any oxide coating on the metal surfaces. They protect the alloy from oxidation during soldering and dissolve metal oxides as they are formed. Classification of flux According to their primary purpose or activity, type 1 surface protection covers the metal surface and prevents access to oxygen so that no oxides can form. Type 2 reducing agent reduces any oxides present and exposes clean metal. Type 3 solvent dissolves any oxides present and carries them away. Then again these fluxes according to pH are classified as acid fluxes like silicon oxide, basic fluxes like calcium oxide and calcium carbonate, neutral fluxes like fluoride flux, borax flux, etc. Coming to borate flux, these are generally used for noble metals. Examples being boric acid, boric anhydrate, borax. Fluoride fluxes. These are generally used with base metal alloys. They are used to dissolve chromium, nickel and cobalt oxides. Basic composition of fluoride fluxes is potassium fluoride 50 to 60 percent, boric acid 25 to 35 percent, boric glass 6 to 8 percent, potassium carbonate 8 to 10 percent. Ideal properties of flux. Its melting point should be lower than solar. Flux should lie quietly on the work while being fused and should not increase in volume. After fusing, it should spread evenly and remain on the parent metal without volatilization. It should dissolve metal oxides or other surface impurities likely to occur on surface of metal. It should be easily removable after soldering. Application of flux. This flux may be painted on the substrate metal at the junction of the pieces to be joined. Flux may be fused on the surface of the filler metal strip. Antiflux. Material used to restrict the flow of solder is called antiflux. It is applied on the surface of specific area where solder should not flow. Example graphite. Thank you all for listening to the first part of soldering, welding and brazing. Thank you.